All right, thanks for watching. And here's a really cool integral with a very surprising answer. Because today we'll calculate the integral from zero to infinity of the Lambert function of one over x to the n dx. Now, what is the Lambert function, if you may ask? It's the inverse of the function x e to the x. In the sense that if w of y equals x, that's the same thing as y being x e to the x. Compare this, for instance, with the function ln, because ln of y equals x, if and only if, y equals e to the x. So w is to ln what x e to the x is to e to the x. So it destroys x e to the x. And this has lots of applications, for instance, for solving the Bose-Einstein equations and the Fermi-Dirac equations as well. Now, we will solve this integral using not one new substitution, not two, but three. So let's get started. Let's start with u equals one over x to the n. So if u equals one over x to the n, then this is the same thing as x is u to the one over n, because x is between zero and infinity, and this implies the x is one over n, u to the one over n minus one. And therefore, our integral then becomes the integral from zero to infinity of w of u and one over n, u to the one over n, Minus one. Yeah. Now, that's the first thing. The next thing we want to do, we literally want to substitute wu. And so, what we end up getting is, so, t is wu. Now, remember, w destroys x to e to the x. So, that's the same thing as u being t e to the t and then du becomes, so using the product rule, e to the t plus t e to the t dt, and this tells you du is, if you want, t plus one, e to the t dt. And so after the second u substitution, our integral becomes the following. Okay, so then we get integral from zero to infinity. So this wu becomes t. We still have this one over n. And then u, remember, was t e to the t. And then minus one over n minus one. And then our du was e to the t times t plus one dt. Which now you can simplify a little bit so this 1 over n comes out, and an integral from 0 to infinity. Now, we have t to the t to the minus 1 over n minus 1. So this minus 1 cancels out, and we also have this t. So in the end, we have t to the 1 minus 1 over n. And then, same spiel here, so there's like one power less. And that's how we have t to the minus 1 to the n. And then I believe e to the t times e to the t to the minus 1 over n minus 1. So e to the minus t over n. Which now suggests to use our last u substitution, which is t over n. So z is t over n. And that tells you that t is n dz, is n z. And then shout out to New Zealand. And then dt is n dz. And then if you use a u substitution, what we end up getting is 1 over n, integral from 0 to infinity. So n z to the 1 minus 1 over n plus nz to the minus 1 over n, and then e to the minus z, 
and an N DZ. Which is nice because this N already cancels out. And then we're actually close to being done because it turns out after a simplification, this will look like the gamma function. So then what we get is n to the one minus one over n. So that's sort of a common factor and an integral from zero to infinity of z to the one minus one over n, e to the minus e dz, and then n to the minus 1 over n, integral from 0 to infinity of z to the minus 1 over n, e to the minus z dz. And then, well, this is still n to the 1 minus 1 over n. And now the cool thing is, this becomes a gamma function, literally, but remember, because a gamma function is shifted by 1, it's not gamma of 1, minus 1 over n, but 2, minus 1 over n. And then this is also the gamma function, plus n to the minus 1 to the n, gamma of 1 minus 1 over n. And then we can just clean this up a little bit, because we can write this in terms of this here, sort of similar to the factorial. So n to the 1 minus 1 over n times 1 minus 1 over n gamma of 1 minus 1 over n and then plus n to the minus 1 over n gamma of 1 minus 1 over n. And then if we factor out the gamma function here, you get gamma of 1 minus 1 over n times n to the 1 minus 1 over n, and then minus, so this n cancels out, n to the minus 1 over n, plus n to the minus 1 over n. And the nice thing is, this nasty term here cancels out as well, and in the end, what is our answer? So in the end, the integral from 0 to infinity of the Lambert function of 1 over x to the n dx, all this is, it is n to the 1 minus 1 over n times a gamma function of 1 minus 1 over n. I mean, how beautiful is that? Not only do we have this common factor of 1 minus 1 over n, but also this is sort of similar structure to x e to the x in some sense. So what a nice symmetry here, really. And by the way, if you're wondering what happens as n goes to infinity, this goes to gamma 1, which I believe is 1, and then n goes to infinity, n to the minus 1 over n that goes to 1, so in the end, this integral actually goes to um, infinity, which is very, very neat. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.